Hello. Hello, beautiful people. Happy Sunday. Hello, happy Sunday, people. My name is Evelyn, your favorite Christian relationship and marriage counselor, teacher and prayer intercessor. Okay, if you're watching, kindly mention where you're watching from. Happy Sunday, people. I hope you're resting well. I'm so happy to be here and I'm here to discuss a very interesting topic. Why do women cheat? Why do women cheat? Some people are here already. Charles Muyama, welcome. Thank you for watching. Please kindly mention where you're watching from, okay? Uh, I might not be able to pronounce your name. Please pardon me, but just kindly mention where you're watching from. Thank you all for coming around. Basaman's son is watching. Welcome. Thank you all for coming, okay? There are many reasons why women cheat. Whether you like it or not, women also cheat. Believe me, and women are even worse when it comes to cheating than men. The reason why women are worse is because we women, we have been built to multitask. Unlike a man, when a man is cheating, if you are sensitive enough, you can find out that he's cheating. But when a woman is cheating, you might not know. Men, if you are watching, when your wife is cheating, you might not know. Because that woman might tell you, I'm going to the market. Honey, I'm going to the market. From there, she will just branch to one man's house. Do whatever she wants to do, then go to the market. Sad but true, but it's very shameful. Believe me, if you're an adulterous woman and you're watching right now, I pray that God will change your heart and stop you from cheating, from cheating, cheating on your husband because it's very shameful. The reason why it's much more shameful for a woman to cheat than for a man to cheat is because that place, what they call your private place, it should be private. But you are sharing it with different men. I remember is that same place you give birth to your children. That's the same place you give birth to generation. Women, please, if you are cheating, if you are an adulterous woman, or maybe you are a hookup girl, you are a prostitute, you are a side chick, I pray that this video will change your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so I'm not going to waste so much time. I'm going to go straight into today's topic, okay? Number one reason why women cheat is no reason. So women for no reason, they just like cheating. If you ask that woman, why are you cheating on your husband? They'll tell you, ah, I don't know, no reason. Believe me, guys, fear women. After God, fear women. We women are very powerful. A woman will cheat on her husband. You will not know, I'm telling you. A woman will get pregnant for another man. And bring that baby to you and say you are the father of the child. If for 20 years you will know. Fear women. Women, we could be very, very dangerous, believe me. Okay? All but of men. Alright, that's fine. But women cheat also. So, number one reason why women cheat is no reason. So women just enjoy cheating. If you're a woman and you are cheating on your husband, please tell God to help you if it's a weakness. Stop it. This video is especially for you. Kindly share this video, share this live broadcast so that so many people around can come and watch and learn, okay? And if you're watching this video from YouTube, kindly give this video a thumbs up, okay? All right? And hit the subscribe button as well. God bless you as you do so, okay? So, so women cheat because there is no reason. If you find out why a woman is cheating, you ask her, why are you cheating? She said, I don't know. And that's because such women, they don't have shame. I'm telling you. It is more shameful for a woman to cheat than for a man to cheat. I'm not saying it is good for a man to cheat on his wife. But when a woman is cheating on her husband, it's a very shameful thing. Very, very shameful thing. It's because it's that place that should be for your husband. The glory of a woman, I'm telling you what God taught me. The glory of a woman is in keeping herself. So imagine when you're a woman, you're jumping from one man to the other, one man to the other. No, oh, no, look at it. A woman. Ah, no, 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 no. It's very shameful. I pray that God will help you, okay? Reason number two, selfishness. So women are very selfish. Oh, if you ask them, why are you cheating on your husband? Why are you cheating on your man? They'll say, because my husband does not have money. But remember, you took vows before you married that man. For better, for worse. In rich or in poverty, you will stay faithful. People don't understand the meaning of marriage. 
when you are married to, to someone, whether you are a man or a woman, you are taking certain vows. Our God is very merciful. I'm telling you, when you take a vow in front of a marriage, like a rather in front of an altar, when you get married, you are taking a vow to be faithful. Stay faithful to your husband. So another reason why some women cheat is because of selfishness. They are just selfish. I'm telling you, they want to have everything. Once their husband cannot provide for them, or once the man in their life, maybe they are dating the man, cannot even provide, they'll just start cheating. It's very shameful. To be sincere, my parents have been married for 41 years. And for 17 good years, for whatever reason. My sister, let me ask you a question. Why do women cheat? Okay? Look, it's both men and women. Yes, no, I, if, you look, if you watched my last video, I talked about men. Today is for the women, okay? Kindly go to my last week video. I talked about men. So we are focusing on the women this time around. So as I was saying, my father and my mother have been married for 41 years. And for 17 good years, somehow they were not together. Not like they were separated, but my dad had to travel to another country to feed his family. Believe me, my mother never cheated on my dad for once. So if you are a good woman, you are a good woman. If you are a cheater, you are a cheater. I'm telling you. So women will say, my, it's called my husband is not around. And she has four kids. But she has to look after the children. If you are good, you are good. If you are bad, you are bad. If you are a cheater, you are a cheater. If you are loose, you are loose. There's nothing you can do about it. If it's a weakness, ask God to help you. So another reason why some women cheat is selfishness. They're just selfish. As soon as your husband cannot provide for them, eh, he can't provide, so that's it. You see them sleeping around. That place is for your husband, and you are sharing it, and you don't have shame. It's that same place you give back to your children. It's that same place you have give back to generation, and you have the God to be sharing it up and down. We took women, women, why? Oh no, oh no, no. Adulterous married women. Oh, why? No, no, no. This is too bad. If it's a weakness, tell God to help you. Okay? So, reason number two. The reason why some women cheat is they are selfish. Selfishness. Because if you are not selfish, you will understand your husband at that time and not cheat on him. I'm telling you. You won't say it because he doesn't have money or because he's not away. He's away from me. A faithful woman is a faithful woman. That is why I always tell men, before you marry, ask God. Pray to God and confirm if that woman is okay for you. Don't marry for beauty. Don't marry because that woman has money. Don't, no, it's not enough. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> when you marry and you enter voicemail, I, can, I know men that have had BP because they married the wrong woman. Okay? Another reason why women cheat is bad friends. I'm telling you. Some women, they are faithful to their husbands. But the moment they mingle with some other friends... They, are, they see what that girl is doing. Or maybe they are what their friend is doing. Maybe they are, they are, their, friend, they are, their friend's husband is providing for them. And they want to have that same experience. Before you know it, they'll say, actually, my husband can't cheat. So my, my husband can't provide for me. Because of the bad friends they are following, they'll start cheating. I'm telling you. Bad friends can make a woman cheat. Please, if you are a woman and you have certain kind of friends that are leading you to cheat on your husband, leading you to cheat on your partner, please advice for the sake of your marriage for the sake of your relationship just separate from such friends i'm telling you because they will end up breaking your home and those friends once your marriage is over you will not see them again they will go bad friends can make a woman cheat okay reason number four another reason why women cheat is in their nature now i'm going to go to prostitutes side chicks and hook up girls i'm telling you if you are a side chick you are chasing another woman's husband just because you need financial assistance. It's not enough. Oh. I'm telling you, people don't want to listen. Being a side, there's nothing glorious about chasing another person's husband. And people are proud to say, I'm a side chick. No, as a side chick, what is your job? Because the, the man is married already. He's committed to another woman. And he's leaving you. You're allowing him to sleep with you. He's wasting your time. Believe me. He's wasting your time. And you might end up missing the right person for you because you're a side chick. Please, if you're a side chick and you're watching right now, ask God for mercy and stop it. Stop chasing another person's husband. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. 
You are putting us under someone else's marriage. And you, and you are proud to say I'm a side chick. What that's, to be very, very sincere, it's not right. Or maybe you're a hookup girl. You're sleeping around. You're jumping from one man to the other. You don't even want to call yourself a prostitute. You get hookup girl and prostitute, the same thing. All of them are in the same bandwagon. Please. There's nothing glorious about it. There's something God taught me. That place that you're sharing, that is where your glory is. The glory of a woman is there in that private. That's why it's called a private place. Because that is where you give birth to nation. That is where you give birth to children. And you're spreading it with different men. No. The glory of a woman is in keeping herself. Keeping that place private. And you open it for any man. Anything can enter. Left, right and center. How? Who up girls? Side chicks. Please. Some girls will say, I don't know where the man shifts my pant. Oh, what do you mean you don't know where the man shifts your pants? It's because of money. I pray that God will give us the grace to do what is right. And as an adulterous woman, even if you are doing it right now, don't wait when your husband catches you before you. If you are watching this video, just stop peacefully so that nobody will know about it. Because once your husband finds out that you are cheating on him, and you know men, many, many men are very territorial. They will not want to take it. I pray that you listen. And this video will not just only, this video will bless your heart and change your life. So that you stop doing what you're doing, okay? Please kindly share this video. And if you're watching from the YouTube, from, um, from the YouTube channel, kindly hit the, hit the subscription button and give the video a thumbs up, okay? My name is Evelyn, Africa's favorite Christian relationship and marriage counselor, prayer intercessor and teacher. All right, if you have not joined the YouTube family, kindly hit the subscribe button. I hope to see you guys next week, Sunday. God bless you. I love you. Remember that God loves you more. Take care. Bye.